Hello, it is me, Arnold Schwarzenrino, here for Survival Skills 101. Here today to talk to you about how to clear a type 2 malfunction. So sit down, shut up, cool off, and let me pump you up. Okay, before we start, Rhino's going to go over the four firearm safety rules. These are very important. Rule number one, treat every firearm as if it's loaded. Rule number two, never point your weapon at anything you're not willing to destroy at that millisecond. Rule number three, keep your finger off the trigger until pointed in and you've made the conscious decision to fire. And rule number four, know your target and what's behind it. Okay, now it's time to talk to you about a type two malfunction or a failure to eject or more commonly, a stovepipe. Basically what's gonna happen is I'm going to have a case sticking out of my weapon that doesn't allow the slide to close so it will go back into battery to fire. Now when I said in my type uh, 1 malfunction video and type 3 malfunction, we, when, we go, when I go to the doctor, uh, the doctor is going to ask me, hey, what are your symptoms? What's wrong with you? Oh, I have a sore throat, a fever, I'm not feeling good. And he's going to take my symptoms and make a diagnosis. And when he makes my diagnosis, he can give me the cure. Well, it is no different when we're shooting. We are going to get a symptom. Now, in a type 1 uh, malfunction, I get a click instead of a bang. Well, in a type 2 malfunction, I don't get anything. I get a spongy trigger, which means there's nothing there. That could either mean a type 2 or a type 3 malfunction. So basically, I narrowed it down to what the problem is. All right, so to set this up, I'm going to take a, a case. I don't have a magazine because this is going to make it easier for me to demonstrate it for you, but in real life I would have a magazine in there. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this case right up on the side like that and I'm just going to close my slide. All right, And that's what it's going to look like. It just didn't get eject all the way out of the ejection port. Now with a Glock you got to trip the trigger here. All right, It makes a noise. But in real life it's going to be super spongy. And that's how I'm going to uh, understand the symptom to make my diagnosis. So there it is. I point in, I start shooting, all of a sudden I get a spongy trigger. Okay, that's either a type 2 or it's a type 3 malfunction. Well, to verify, I need to look. I look and I see the stovepipe, see, sticking right out of there. Okay, I know the cure now. The cure, though, is exactly like a type 1 malfunction. It's going to go tap, rack flip, and I come back up on target. Now, the flip part is so that that round gets dropped out and gravity helps it, all right? I don't, want it, I don't want to induce a type 3 malfunction because I didn't turn it up on its side. And then people call it all kinds of things. Tap, rack, can't. I just call it tap, rack, flip. I want to flip it so gravity helps me take that uh, round out of there. All right, I'm going to set this up one more time. Just put it up on its side right there and I gently and lovingly close it. I have a Glock, so I need to trip the trigger. All right, so I'm gonna point in. I'm maybe shooting, and all of a sudden I get a spongy trigger. That could be a type two or a type three malfunction. Please, Lord, let it be a type two malfunction. I look, I see a stovepipe. I go, oh, I know how to fix this. Exactly like a type one. Tap, rack, flip, right back up on target. Okay, gonna set this up for the third and final time. Put that case right up on the shelf. I close it gently. Trip my trigger. All right, I'm shooting, 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 shooting. All of a sudden, I get a spongy trigger. It's either a type two or type three. I look, it is a type two malfunction. Thank God it's not a type three. I know exactly what to do. I tap, rack flip, I come back up. Now right here, I want to assess my target. I need to make sure that he still has a weapon in his hands. He didn't drop it, he didn't run away. I make the conscious decision not to fire, my finger goes straight, I go down to the ready. That is how you do a type 2 malfunction. Okay, there you go. How to clear a type 2 malfunction. For Survival Skills 101, I am Arnold Rhino Schwarzenegger. Are you prepared to get to the chopper? Do it!